that all arrangements have been made. Fighting is going on at Langson, Tanmoy, and Dongdang. Ah, we will resist with all our strength. Wait, I will just get us. <laughs> The bitter, hopeless fighting went on for four days. Then, far behind the fighting, Japanese transports put into the harbor at Haiphong. Keep those people back there. Make way for the troops. Look at these Japanese coming off these transports. There must be 25,000 or more. There were more. 38,000 trained shock troops. Keep those people out of the way. Make way for the tanks. That's 36, 37 tanks already. And still they come. 60 powerful tanks were landed. The fighting ended in the north. The troops took over not only the three airports originally agreed upon, but took six instead. Japanese warplanes swarmed in. The coup gave up. For all practical purposes, the Japanese have taken all of northern Indochina. What could we do? It's my opinion that it won't be long until they move south and take all of Indochina. No, 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 no. They will do nothing of the kind. The Japanese who landed at the Gialam airfield at Hanoi and said he was a traffic examiner turned out to be a Japanese officer. He commanded some of the troops in the fighting around Dongdang when the Japanese crossed in from China. What has made our position more difficult is that many of you Anamites and many Tonkinese are cooperating with the Japanese. Some Anamites and some Tonkinese left Indochina years ago to be educated in Japan. The reason they left is that they felt their position was hopeless in Indochina. Still, most of us are not Japanese. Hmm. But you are not for France. No. <laughs> Japanese troops and supplies poured in, and Italian engineers attached to the Italian consulate at Hanoi took over the job of converting the airports into major bombing bases for the Japanese. The plans for the construction job were ready by the time the Japanese took the airports. And while some of the Italian engineers were busy extending the runways to a mile in length, others were building barracks for the Japanese ground crew. Almost before the jobs were done, the Japanese heavy bombers came winging in. There they go, loaded with gasoline and bombs. Forty-five Japanese heavy bombers operating from the newly acquired air bases in Indochina. Today bomb Kunming, vital aviation and manufacturing center of Yunnan province in China. Kunming is also the terminal point of the Burma Road and the Hanoi Kunming Railroad. The bombers came over to base. From this time on, the Japanese used the air bases of northern Indochina to strike against China. When the Burma Road was reopened, they dealt crushing blows to its traffic. And the Chinese, to prevent the Japanese from using the Hanoi Kunming Railroad against them, tore up its tracks in China. The Japanese made northern Indochina an operational base. Then they turned south, landed at Saigon. Will we be able to hold off the Japanese? There are 80,000 of us. Soldiers and civilians. But we are not trained and we do not have the equipment. We must use what we have. We should have known that they would not be satisfied with only northern Indochina. If they take Saigon and Cameron, then all the French Indochina is gone. Saigon fell. Saigon, with its 170,000 population, with its Parisian atmosphere, tree-lined streets, Parisian department stores, cafes, hairdressing parlors. 